congratulations have to go out to someone very special. This was, a, in my life anyway, for 10 years he was. A, this was a big week for our 43rd president, President Larry the Cable Guy. Uh, as you know, <laughs> Wednesday they had the big opening of the Bush Library down in Texas. All five living presidents were there. It was a once-in-a-lifetime event, a library in Texas. <laughs> Oh, I kid. I kid, Texas, but the last person in that state to get near a school book was Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, and uh, just like the Bush presidency, right away there was controversy because they asked, I think it was Matt Lauer, asked Barbara Bush, the matriarch of the family, whether Jeb Bush <laughs> should run for president. And you know what she said, right? She said, we've had enough Bushes. Enough? How about at least one too many? <laughs> but, <laughs> but let me not denigrate what was a beautiful day and a beautiful library and, and museum. The, the sign up front when you enter says, where fuck-ups come alive. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> it is. It's not just a library, it's a museum. The exhibits are, are just amazing. They're breathtaking. There's a, a map of the world dartboard where Bush used to decide who to invade. <laughs> After 9-11, there's the, the pants he peed in uh, when he was told we were under attack, the pretzel he forgot to chew that made him pass out. Oh, and there's a, a weapons of mass destruction pavilion. But no one can find it. It's, it's, um, and, <laughs> and here's my favorite part. You know who else was there, of course, was Dick Cheney. And the New York Times said that he looked physically revitalized. So if you find any dead animals on your front porch who have been completely drained of blood, you know why that happened.